Okay, uh, this is one of our student ask us uh, how to draw the mechanism and uh, what is the product for this reaction. This is actually an aldol reaction and we're going to show you what is the product and how it is formed. Okay, now I'm going to start by rewriting the reactant. This is basically an aldehyde and the reaction is done in presence of base. Uh, the base that is used in this reaction is sodium hydroxide and um, what it is going to do is, uh, let me hold on a second, uh, I will just draw the proton separate here so that it is easier to draw the arrows. Now this base is going to go and abstract the proton from there and in return you are going to have these electrons move back to that carbon. What you get is an enolate okay, and this enolate is actually resonance stabilized. So, you can draw another resonance form for it where you can actually move these electrons like this and you can have a negative charge on the oxygen. You can have a double bond there and a negative charge on the oxygen. Now because of this particular resonance form this is a quite stable enolate. Okay, This is an enol form of that enolate. Now this enolate is the one that goes uh, and react with the another molecule of aldehyde. So, I am going to redraw that enolate again here. Okay, so that is enolate and then it is going to react with another molecule of aldehyde. So, this is another molecule of aldehyde. Now, this negative charge uh, this enolate is going to act as a nucleophile. This carbonyl carbon is going to act as a electrophile. Okay, so this carbon is going to attack that electrophile, and you're going to have a negative charge moving back on the oxygen. So I'm going to draw this molecule first now. and you have a negative charge on the oxygen you have now you have a hydrogen there that hydrogen is redrawn there now you have basically connected this carbon and this carbon so you draw that carbon you are drawing this carbon now so you have a CH there and you are going to have CH3 and that is the aldehyde group there. Okay. Now, this molecule is going to go and get proton from the water molecule because the solution and, uh, is actually a sodium hydroxide solution therefore you are going to have a water molecule in the reaction mixture is going to abstract one of the proton from, from the water molecule. What you get is basically an aldol product CH you are going to have OH this H hydrogen is actually coming from water you have CH3 CH and C double bond OH so this is an aldol product ok if you heat it that is the reaction if you look at the reaction over here um, the reaction mixture is actually been heated okay so if you heat aldol product dehydration takes place and you are going to lose basically this oh and this proton over here in a concerted uh, type of reaction and what you get is an alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde so you are going to have ch2 CH 
double bond C we're gonna have CH3 there and C double bond O H so this is the final product of the aldol reaction after the aldol product has been heated okay so you're gonna lose a water molecule here okay uh, so that's an aldol product okay alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde okay if usually if you don't heat the mixture this can be isolated but if you heat it the dehydration is an easy process and you get an alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde